Right, how do, how's the doing? I didn't really think that I'd have to make this video um, But something's come to my attention that I feel I have to voice And this is my only place that I can voice So, let's give it a go shall we? Cheers! So, this rant, and it is going to be a little bit of a rant, there's not, you're not, I'm not getting any snakes out today, I'm, you're not going to see any snakes, so if you want to see them, sorry, I do apologise, but you'll just have to wait till my next video. Um, this video is about cruelty to animals. Uh, <laughs> now, Everybody know well, those that know, I am on Instagram uh, and people add me, I add them, we like each other's pictures, etc, etc, etc. Instagram is a lovely place for the ball python community. They are the most friendliest people I've ever come across on Instagram. They're all wonderful. Shout out to you, all of you on Instagram. Um, but, I'm just going to give this fella, well I think, him and his family, a shout out. Hang on. <laughs> Snakey Peepers. They're on Instagram, they added me the other day. Um, and I've been having quite an interesting conversation with him today. He's put me on to someone. Give me a second. They... D Dave's Dave's Aquarium in Bolton. Now I'm not saying anything. I'm not saying anything that you yourself can't go and Google and look and find out yourself. Um, I've been brought. This has been brought to my attention by um, Snakey. Oh, hang on. Snakey Peepers. Snake. Snakey Herpin Peeps. Sorry if I've got that wrong, but it, it, it does say on there there's two different things I'm kind of reading from both, sorry. Uh, but anyway, he's been filling me in today uh, about this Dave's Aquarium. I'll put his, that's his Facebook picture. Now if you go on his Facebook, there are absolutely no pictures. Well, no, sorry, 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 I tell a lie. There are pictures. There's pictures of a family looking round because his aquarium, you only see his fish. Uh, now, his fish don't look too bad, in all fairness, but I can't really argue for. The argument today, <sighs> I got sent a picture, I'm not going to show it, because you can't really make all out, you have to really look nice and deep and careful, careful to it, excuse me. <clears throat> um, but there is a dead garter snake in it. Um, and I have seen this picture, uh, this picture is available to see, I think. Um, if you go onto his Facebook thing and read the reviews, let, let me just read a review. I'll put it up here, there. Oh, hang on. I can't even do my phone right now. <laughs> but yeah, let me just, let me just, let me just find this a minute. And I'll read it to you. You go on reviews, I've put a review on saying this is just not and this should not be happening. Uh, but the next one below me, I won't tell the person's name, I've cut the name off there as you see. But it reads as so. This place is disgusting. Me and my partner went in today to see if to see corn snakes. Not even big enough to eat a whole pinky. Now I mean, I mean baby corn snakes are small anyway, but at best guess, no older than a week old. <clears throat> Underweight, stressed ball pythons, one of which clearly 
has nothing, uh, oh sorry, has something wrong with its mouth and top, hang on, and to top it off a dead garter snake. All cages are dirty and don't meet animals needs at all. How this place is still open is beyond me. The entire place is I don't even know what that word is but it needs closing ASAP and the, these <laughs> these these bad reviews go on and on and on and on and on and just they just keep going and keep going and keep going uh, there is a news article that the guy that I've been speaking to sent to me I've had a read uh, and it's something about it, I'm going to go into big details about it because you can all find out for yourself. There, he had a shop in Leeds, in West Yorkshire. Uh, excuse me, he had a very rare crocodile or alligator, one or the other, that had to be removed because of cruelty. His whole shop was shut down in Leeds because of cruelty. Now, this is where my rant comes in. Now I'm I'm not making a lot of money. I'm not. I'm not making loads at all. Um, but the money that I do get pays for the snakes that I do have. And in fairness, I do have a little bit of spare money to get more snakes, which is my plan. Now I have budgeted in my monthly amount for feed, bedding, etc, etc, money to put aside in case we need to go to a vet's. Now, I'm not the greatest of responsibilist of people as a grown up, I mean I am, I have children, I have a family, I am reasonably responsible, but when it comes to money, I'm not the greatest, but, and it's a big but, now this guy, I understand, you want to make money, who oh, done? Everybody wants to make money, and money makes the world go round. This get really angry now. But, big but, don't make your money at other living things' expenses. Do you know what I mean? It's like murderers make money from killing people. What's wrong with you? What's wrong with the world? Come on! Do you know what I mean? Everybody's so out for herself and nasty and horrible to one another. Everybody just... Why can't everybody just get along and be nice? Why? Like this fellow that I'm talking about at Dave's Aquarium. Why? What has that snake ever done to you? Apart from trying to make you a wage to feed your family and keep a roof over their heads, etc. And all you're doing is leaving a dead gart snake in a pen for everybody to look at. There's no need. There's no need. None. None, none, none. No need whatsoever. Do you know what I mean? These snakes are there to try and live a happy life. And if they can make you some money in the process, sweet. But treat them with some respect and some dignity. They're still living creatures. Would you would you treat your children like that? No. So why treat a baby snake like that? Or a baby tortoise? Or a baby lizard? Or whatever. A sp spider? Whatever. There's no need for it. I've, ha I've had to calm myself down a little bit before I've made this video because I could feel... I could feel my heart rate beating out of my chest while I was reading some of these reviews. Some of them are ridiculous. This should not be happening. Should not be happening. So, my, my question to you, as a fellow snake breeder, snake owner, animal lover, please, please, please do not buy from any of he's got a few shops up and down the UK apparently but if if you know that it's coming from these people please do not buy from them do not buy from them please 
we need to get this guy out of business so he cannot so he can't torture any more animals there's like i've said there's just no need for it none whatsoever none whatsoever um now the stuff that i'm telling you it is all public knowledge um if you go on what's yorkshire post if you go on their uh website and look up for this crocodile removed from an aquarium whatever all the information is there you can read it all yourself you can go on facebook and put in dave's aquarium and read the reviews for yourself that's all i'm saying i'm not i'm not trying to badger him and to say that he's an horrible person because he's probably not that much of an horrible person he's probably nice as long as you take him away from them animals he's probably a normal bloke like you and me but he's just not got it in his head that this is not the way you treat animals it's i get that we're supposed to be apex but we are supposed to be top of the pile pyramid of food and da 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 do you know what i mean we are apex predators blah blah but still no 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 you don't do that you don't you don't do that oh sorry actually something that's just brought to mind as well one of the staff members in there when it came to that dead garter snake he was most annoyed because when the person who took the picture questioned about the dead garter snake he lost a sale on that garter snake. I'm, I'm gonna have to call it a do there. Um, because this is winding me up again. And I don't, I don't, I shouldn't be feeling this angry about somebody else. Do you know what I mean? But just, just don't do it. Don't, don't do it. There's no need. If you do, if if you can't look after an animal, don't get one. If you can't afford to look after an animal, don't get one. So that's simple. It's not hard. Do you know what I mean? Just because you think it's cute to have a nice little puppy and there, 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 but you're not going to walk it, you're not going to feed it, you're not going to clean up after it. No, 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 no. People need to stop it and stop it quick. You're giving animal lovers a bad name. Stop it, please. Just, there's no need. So yeah, like that's it. I'm done, I'm done, I'm angry again. I'm, I'm really angry again. So, I'm not, <laughs> like, share, subscribe, whatever. This one, I just, I needed to do, I needed to rant, I needed to get this out there purely because of the passion that I feel for animals in general there's just no no need no need whatsoever um, so yeah thanks for watching guys um, I'm sorry I ranted and it might have gone on a little bit too long but it needed to be said sorry mate no, sorry YouTube I do apologise for ranting at you the next videos will be back on snakes I promise Terrafina.